Hi friends, Benita with Knitting in the Mitten. I might make a video. I've made a couple videos lately, but I didn't post them because I wasn't super excited about them. Um, but I know I have a few new subscribers, so I thought I should make some content, right? Um, so I went to the knitting group or the all strings considered group at the local library last month. And after that group, they had another group a book group where they're um, making stuff. So this month they are doing things with paper. And so I picked up this book about how to make plants out of paper. And so um, I don't need another hobby. Um, you already know I'm a knitter. That takes up a lot of my time in the winter. Um, and then in the summer, I'm usually I'm a lazy gardener, but I do have a big garden. So um, I don't really need another hobby, but I thought, what the heck, I'll give this a try. So first of all, I bought these foam things and I cut it into a piece that would fit in this cheapo plastic container, plastic pot. And so that's where we're starting and we're gonna see what um, I need to do next. I'm gonna try to make this, and I really don't know if I have the proper paper, as my niece Ember knows, because we had a big discussion about paper, um, because it calls for text weight paper, um, and I don't know what that is. I can't figure it out. I've Googled it. Um, and I also forgot to pick up some just regular old office paper in different colors. So all I have is cardstock and we're gonna see what happens. Oh, there's a light in my face. Okay, sorry if you can hear the dryer. It's life. Um, so this book has a template in the back that I can use for my leaves. So I um, scanned it and uploaded it to, the, to my computer. And then I cropped it and pasted a whole bunch of them on a page. And then unfortunately they say have words on them. So then I took one of these white out strip things and whited out all the words. And then I made a copy um, on cardstock um, and I lightened it as much as I could. So I need to make 20 of these, I think. And 16 of these shorter ones. So um, I am using this paper cutter to make it easier and we'll see how this works. All right. Um, I made 20 long ones and 16 short ones and I cut 36 pieces of wire and now I think, oh, and 36 little pieces. Um, this was supposed to be text weight paper, but we know I don't have that, so it's cardstock. And I think I'm supposed to maybe put this wire on the back of my leaf and put some glue on it, um, this tacky glue and then put another piece of paper over top to secure it. So I think that's the process. And so stay tuned. All right, so I made 36 leaves and now they need to dry. So um, I'm gonna have to do a little trimming because my little strips were a little wider than some of the leaves, but no big deal. So I'm gonna give it an hour and do the next step. All right, it's time for the next step. So I trimmed all of these leaves and now the instructions say I am supposed to mix um, some paint. So I have never heard of this paint before. I don't know how you pronounce it, pronounce it but I do like to have the proper supplies, so I got it. I'm supposed to mix green and black to make a gray green color. So let's see if I can do that. Okay, so 
just as I predicted. Um, for this project, I'm supposed to paint a line down there. I'm supposed to mix the paint and to make that lovely color and then paint that lovely stripe down the leaf. And painting is not my specialty. First of all, I know I did not get that color. My color is much more green and my painting skills really stink. So um, yeah, that's what I predicted. So um, I'm letting that dry and then I'm supposed to flip them over and paint the back side. So um, maybe I'll see if I can adjust the color a little bit. Okay, folks, I am happier with the color on the back. So instead of uh, just mixing green and black, like it said, I mixed white and black with a little bit of the green that I used on the other side. And that made a much more gray green color. So um, the color is better. Uh, my painting skills have not improved, <laughs> but um, I'm gonna let this dry. And then I think it's time to stick all of those in my pot. So I know it's gonna not going to look like a real plant, but um, it'll be something. Oh, I was also going to say that um, the other fun thing I did today was um, FaceTime with my um, freshman college roommate from Bethel College. And um, that was super fun. So um, I know some of you were in college and I hope that uh, you have, uh, you're developing friendships that you will have for a lifetime because um, it was really fun to reconnect and it's been a long time since we were at school together um over 30 years i guess so anyway um and what i knew was going to happen happened which i knew that wearing a white uh, my favorite cream colored fleece when i painted something would be a terrible idea but i forgot to change so Yes, I got a nice green splotch on here, but um, I pretty much just wear this at home with my sweat, so I'm not gonna stress about it. All right, um, I don't hate it. It, ooh, it actually is a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. I thought I would hate it, but um, it definitely doesn't look real, but um, it looks like a piece of art in my opinion. It looks like the kind of art I'm capable of, so um, I don't know. I recommend it.